Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to our guests. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we are here to discuss uh, research postgraduate opportunities uh, in the Department of Literature and Cultural Studies and uh, talk to you about any questions you have, introduce our department, um, see if we can uh, get to know any, each other uh, a little bit uh, and talk about you know, future plans to research together. So uh, in order to do that, let me ask uh, each of my colleagues to sort of introduce some things that they know about the department, some of their areas of specialization and their interests. Um, and, and I will begin uh, with a few words of my own. Uh, but after that, we'll hear from Professor Dennis Cheng, who is chair professor uh, in our department. Thank you for joining us today, Dennis. My pleasure. Uh, Following uh, Dennis will be Dr. Vidisha Banerjee, who is director of the Center for Popular Culture and Humanities here, uh, a research center nearby LCS. And finally, Dr. Yip Cho Wai, who is director of the Research Center for Chinese Literature and Literary Culture. Uh, so we've prepared just a few slides for you uh, to help you sort of understand what we're focused on, what we're interested in here uh, in our department. And uh, then we'll just, you know, have uh, some time for discussion, uh, answer any questions you might have. So when I was thinking about, you know, how to introduce our department to you, I thought that instead of, you know, making a lot of uh, bullet points and PowerPoint slides, I would instead just mention some things that we've recently done and some things that we're about to do. Um, and as I talk about these, these activities and initiatives, you can ask yourself um, whether these things look interesting to you, whether they look like fun to you, whether these are things that you'd like to get involved in. Uh, and the first thing that I thought I would mention uh, is that one of the things that we do here in our department, like, like other academic departments, uh, is invite our, our friends and contacts and colleagues from around the world to give academic seminars uh, in our department. So one of the nice things about being uh, an academic and a researcher is you have networks of people around the world who are studying similar things, related things, um, and we can have them come to our department uh, and talk to us. So. Some, some things we've recently heard about uh, in literature and cultural studies uh, are uh, Dayu, uh, the, the origins of Chinese national identity or Chinese national consciousness uh, in the, the, the story of uh, Dayu, um, uh, researcher from Shandong. We also had a talk about modernism in Shanghai and specifically about uh, the idea of sound uh, and modernism. This has been kind of a hot topic in recent years, uh, sound studies, um, and particularly sort of in the age of, I guess you might say technologically mediated recording uh, is an interesting aspect as well. We had a talk from uh, Professor Han about sort of global receptions of the I Ching, uh, and particularly uh, how people are reading the I Ching um, in Europe and in the United States uh, in the 1920s through the 1960s. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we heard from uh, Dr. Jeannie Kim uh, from the New York University. Uh, she's writing about uh, pen, the, uh, uh, I, I believe it's actually, uh, I forget what the acronym is. In any case, the Writers' Organization uh, and, you know, the conferences that it has held uh, in Asia during the Cold War period and sort of the politics of decolonization and the Cold War was embedded in those conferences uh, and events. And upcoming, uh, we have soon uh, Professor Ng An Cho from the Pennsylvania State University, who is going to talk to us about the idea of, uh, of Qing thought. Uh, you know, what does it mean to gather together uh, a period of intellectual development uh, under the notion of the, the Qing uh, dynasty period? Um, and so in these five talks, uh, one about sort of uh, early Chinese history, one about recent or uh, modern Chinese literature and culture, uh, one about sort of global reception of Chinese uh, uh, 
classic uh, philosophy. Um, this is a kind of cultural studies talk uh, about uh, the Penn Asian Writers Conference. And then this upcoming talk, I think you can get kind of a, a map or a, or a, or a, or a broad <clears throat> sense of what it is uh, that we've been up to uh, in literature and cultural studies. Um, we have strong focus in, in Hong Kong and modern Chinese subject areas, uh, but as you can see, we also spreading out in a number of directions uh, beyond that area, uh, particularly to classical Chinese uh, literature and philosophy, uh, but also uh, to English language areas as well. So um, again, as I said at the outset, what I, what I hope you're asking yourself um, uh, is, um, you know, is this the sort of research that you want to get engaged in? And, and if the answer to that question is yes, of course, we, we hope to hear from you uh, further. So let me then give you another way of, of thinking about our department. Um, it's just not the case that research is the only thing we do here. Obviously, there's the research. Obviously, there's the teaching, um, uh, you know, undergraduate, master's level, research postgraduate level. Um, but we also have all kinds of other projects going on, many of which are connected um, to community service in, 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 in Hong Kong and, and other places, uh, lots of which are also connected to the Hong Kong school system, uh, which is the nature of, of our department. So, Again, you can ask yourself, uh, are these the kind of projects I might like to get involved in uh, myself? Um, and uh, you can imagine yourself being engaged in these things. Uh, so one thing we've been doing in recent years is, is short animated videos. These are intended to help uh, school students uh, prep for their exams, refresh their memory. They're also teaching material uh, for uh, local teachers. So we have animation projects in Chinese history and Chinese culture and an upcoming one also in English language literary studies. Some of our colleagues did this project, an analysis of Hong Kong secondary school history textbooks. And this is sort of a uh, a sort of deeper look into the history that is taught uh, in uh, Hong Kong uh, history classrooms. Writing Plus is a creative writing pedagogy project. So maybe you know, maybe you don't, but more and more universities worldwide are teaching creative writing and, and starting academic programs in creative writing. We have quite a strength in this area uh, in our department. Uh, and this is one project that comes out of our investment in creative writing. One City, One Book Hong Kong is a community reading project. Each year we choose a single text and focus a lot of energy and attention on that single text. It's a good way to bring people together and invite them uh, to discuss together uh, on the basis of their shared reading. Um, last year's book was, was, was a book by Sai Sai, a Hong Kong, beloved Hong Kong author. Uh, we had a conference on Sai Sai's work, Floating City International Conference on Sai Sai. It was a, it was a big success. Almost 300 people came to this conference. Uh, and we also put together a, 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 a neat digital humanities project related to Sai Sai called Sai Sai City um, that sort of documents her life and work uh, in a number of different ways. The one thing that I'll mention, our, our upcoming project, we're going to do a drama production later this academic year. It's called The Flower Fairy. Uh, and it combines Romeo and Juliet, the Shakespeare play, uh, and the, the Peony Pavilion, which are sort of rough historical contemporaries, actually. Um, and so we will have this sort of bicultural uh, drama production. And this is a, an early sketch of the costumes that we're going to have made uh, for this drama production. So uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, and we're also going to, we're going to put it on on the campus here. And then the University of Chicago has a campus in Hong Kong. Uh, we're going to put it on there uh, as well. So um, again, uh, you know, what I'm, what I'm suggesting to you is that, uh, you know, these are the types of things that we have been involved in. We've been spending time developing these projects and, uh, you know, promoting these projects and offering these opportunities to the community. Um, and again, you can ask yourself, uh, do I want to be involved? Are these the kinds of things that interest me? Uh, and I hope the answer for some of you uh, is yes. 
So uh, I don't want to talk forever. Um, uh, please let me uh, pass uh, some time to my, my colleague, uh, Dennis Cheng, um, uh, who will talk to you about maybe a, a little bigger picture uh, point of view uh, about research postgraduate study uh, in our department. Hey, um, thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, um, good afternoon, uh, colleagues and participants. And uh, it's a great pleasure to uh, meet you uh, in this uh, webinar. Uh, as uh, instructed by the, uh, what we call the bilingualist, um, biliteracy and trilingualism. And may I switch um, the language uh, to put uh, Hong to facilitate our discussion. Uh, 首先非常欢迎大家参加我们这个网上的一个说明会我们的一些远程的一些目标 Education Plus的一个目标 那我们这个目标呢，其实是以呃教育学为主，但是呢，不限于教育学，我们是从教育学为中心，辐射式的往外面去呃涵括呃很多不同的领域。所以呃，诚如你们刚刚听到我们系主任这个的介绍，我们除
，你搭三个小时的飞机，你可以到达亚洲绝大部分的地区。呃，往北啊、呃，这个我们内地可以到北京，那么往日本你可以到北海道，往南你几乎可以到新加坡，新加坡是三个多小时。那么所以呢，香港它是一个亚洲的中心点，所以我们立足在香港去学习的话呢。其实有利于你们去接触整个这个亚洲的多元的这个世界啊。那么，呃，那最后呢，就是你们可以看到，我们我在这里呢提供了一些资讯给大家。我们作为一个研究的机构呢，我们跟世界上这个很多的研究机构都有联系的。在左边呢是那个你们可以看到一个海报，它是呃荷兰的 Leiden University 的 International Institute。呃、uh, ，For Asian Studies 的它的一些海报啊，大家可以看 Global Asia， 还有 Asian Heritage。s 那么这个呃、uh, IAS 呢，它是跟我有一个这个学术上的联系的，因为我在那边有做过他们的这个呃欧洲的汉学讲座啊，所以呃大家可以以这个这里为基地呢，也可以到欧洲去哈、啊、去做进行这个亚洲的研究。那么右边呢是我们的几个同事啊，也包括我们今天的这个我们的同事 Bidisha 啊，他很快他就会跟你们那个，这是我们几年前呢在澳门的啊一次啊，就是我们的 ICUS ICUS Eight， 那么就是 International Convention of Asian Scholars， 那么我们在那边有一个 session 是做 presentation， 所以我们的那个国际的参与就是 International。呃、uh, ，exposure， 我们是相当的这个活泼的啊、哦，所以，呃，我相信如果大家能够呃这个有机会来到我们这边学习的话呢，可以透过我们这个呃系里边的各种的资源呢，可以去呃把你们的触觉呢伸到这个世界的每一个角落。呃、uh, ，OK，That's、okay, all for me for my part. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Professor. I really appreciate your introduction to sort of the broader context, um, Padisha. Yes, thank you.、Um, I will go ahead and share my screen. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone.、Um, thank you to、um, our participants for your interest in doing your postgraduate studies with us. Uh, my name is、uh, Bidisha Banerjee. I'm the director of the Center for Popular Culture in the Humanities, or CPCH, as it's、um, called,、uh, which is a、uh, research、uh, center housed in the uh, uh, Faculty of Humanities here at、uh, at UHK.、Um, so,、uh, in the title, we sort of Uh, you know, it's called the Center for Popular Culture in the Humanities, and that's a、uh, we use this term in a very broad sense to cover、um, sort of the、uh, culture of everyday life and the way in which that might be represented、uh, in literature or music or film or photography or visual and material culture of any kind,、um, and also in dig digital media.、Um, so this is, although the center is housed in the Faculty of Humanities, it includes members from.、Um, Um, all of the faculties at the at, at the education university. So we have、um, uh, members from the Faculty of Education and Human Development, as well as the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, which are the other two faculties at the university.、Uh, and the reason for this is that the that the projects are、uh, mostly interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary in nature. Uh, so uh, we are,、uh, as as humanities scholars, we're also working with、um, colleagues in 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 other、uh, disciplines as well. Um, uh, being housed in、uh, in Hong Kong、uh, at a university in Hong Kong, um, uh, uh, my colleague Professor Cheng just talked about sort of the importance of of Hong Kong、uh, globally and in 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 connection with、uh, with other countries and also its importance in Asia. Uh, so um, uh, we explore the the center explores、uh, popular culture and the humanities. 
um, often from an Asian perspective. So some of our um, uh, projects in the past have had to do with uh, Asian popular culture, such as K-pop, um, and also uh, sort of ur urban spaces uh, uh, and, and the modern Asian city uh, cities. We also, um, our projects are not, of course, limited only to the Asian perspective, um, uh, but also kind of global in nature. Um, so as a student um, uh, in, in LCS, uh, you would be affiliated depending on your uh, area of research and your interest, you would be affiliated with one of the centers that you're going to hear about today. Uh, so what, what would be, uh, you know, what would you stand to gain from that? What would be uh, uh, some of the benefits of, of that affiliation? Um, so the first thing to mention is just as Dr. Clapp said, we have a number of talks at the, at, at the department level. Uh, we also, uh, the center also organizes uh, um, uh, talks and seminars throughout the year. So for uh, for example, on the left, you see uh, a, a talk we had only last week uh, by a postdoctoral, given by a postdoctoral fellow, uh, Dr. Ling Tang, uh, from uh, the uh, Hong Kong Baptist University. And the talk was um, titled Gamification of Economy, the Aesthetic Labor and Emotional Labor in Making Taobao a, a Theme Park Spectacle. Um, I think you're all familiar with Taobao, so uh, you can, you can uh, quickly get a sense of what the talk uh, might have been about uh, from the title. Um, on the right, you see a poster, uh, which is uh, a series, a webinar series that we had last year uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the spring, in, in, in the winter in the spring, January, February, and March, uh, a series of three talks um, coming out of one of the uh, sort of uh, a flagship project of the center that I'm going to talk about later on. Uh, you would, of course, also, I should mention, have the opportunity to uh, present your own work in one of these uh, seminar, uh, uh, at one of these talks. Um, so um, presumably in your uh, third year or so, when you are, you know, writing your chapters, uh, we would very much welcome uh, a, a presentation from you um, on your uh, research uh, topic. Um, <clears throat> something else that um, uh, you would have access to uh, would be um, the, the, the chance to discuss your project with uh, visiting scholars. So from time to time, the center uh, invites uh, visiting scholars, uh, international visiting scholars uh, from universities outside of Hong Kong. Uh, they visit for a short while, uh, during which, uh, during that time, they give uh, talks on their, on their own uh, research expertise. So you would have the opportunity, of course, to attend those talks. Um, and they are also happy to meet with um, uh, uh, with uh, uh, faculty as well as students, uh, postgraduate students, uh, and discuss their research topics with them. Um, of course, because of uh, uh, COVID, we haven't had um, uh, visiting scholars uh, in the last few years, uh, but these are two professors we had um, uh, we've had in the past, Professor Chris Berry, who's a, a very well-known scholar and has done a lot of work on Hong Kong cinema. He's a professor of film studies at King's College London. Um, and Professor Esther Puran, uh, who's a professor of cultural analysis at the University of Amsterdam. <clears throat> um, so uh, moving on then, I just want to say a little bit about uh, the, the project that I mentioned, mentioned briefly before. This is kind of our, uh, our big project uh, currently. It's called uh, Fanatic Ethics. Um, fanatic, uh, you may or may not know, is a word that refers to death. So uh, Thanatos is the Greek god of, of death. Um, so um, I'll say a little bit more about the, the, uh, the focus of the uh, project, uh, but basically it's a collaboration between three international research centers, CPCH being one of them, uh, and the other two centers are uh, in, in, uh, in France. Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, well, one in France and one, uh, one in Oxford. 
Um, and uh, the, the project team members include faculty from uh, 10 different countries. This is a very interdisciplinary project. It's not just people in the humanities, but we have sort of uh, uh, sociologists and geographers and uh, uh, filmmakers and, and all kinds of uh, uh, people. Uh, so we have already organized two workshops uh, in 2021. One was uh, online uh, because of the pandemic in April. Uh, the more recent recent one in October actually did take place in person uh, in France uh, in one of the participating uh, centers um, at one of the universities where the center is housed. Uh, we are planning two conferences in 2022, one in Oxford and one in Hong Kong, hopefully uh, in late 2022, provided the quarantine situation changes. Um, so if you uh, were with us at that time, you, uh, you would have the opportunity to, uh, to be quite actively in, uh, involved with the, with the conference. Um, <clears throat> and the, the project also includes a, an ongoing webinar series. So I showed you the poster for um, uh, the talks we had uh, in the last um, uh, academic year. So uh, in uh, January, February, and March of 2021, we are organizing a similar one uh, for this year. Um, uh, which involves kind of project participants and, 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 and guest speakers. Um, so uh, just a little bit about what the, what the to tell you what the project is about. So I, I've already said that the word thematic refers to death. Um, so the project focuses on migrant deaths uh, on, on foreign shores. Um, so it looks at the deaths of refugees who are, um, uh, you know, we're all familiar with this uh, phenomenon of refugees making very dangerous uh, journeys uh, across land and water um, in an attempt to reach a foreign shore, um, often illegally, unfortunately. Um, so, um, and what happens uh, quite frequently uh, during these journeys is that things go wrong, the boat capsizes, or they, uh, you know, the refugees um, uh, don't have access to food and water, um, and uh, many of them perish, many of them die, making these very difficult journeys. Um, so this project looks at what happens to these bodies, these, these dead bodies, these people who die in the process of uh, traveling, um, of making these, uh, these crossings. Um, are, are the bodies sent back? Are they buried somewhere? Do they just lie at the bottom of the sea if it's a death by drowning? Uh, are these victims memorialized in any way? Uh, so uh, there, there's a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, literary and cultural production on this topic, particularly coming out of Europe. Uh, so if you were working on migration, um, this project would be of particular interest to you, whether it has to do with, with uh, whether your work has to do with, with death or not. But, you know, it looks at related um, uh, uh, issues, issues related to migration, so sort of the, the longing for home and, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the desire to be buried in the home, even if somebody has lived in a, uh, uh, as, a as a migrant in a foreign country for many years. Um, so it deals with kind of the right to die and, and, and how that's connected to citizenship and human rights in the context of migration and diaspora. Uh, so these are sort of the, uh, some of the issues that the project uh, deals with. Um, so as I said, if you're looking at, you know, literature or uh, uh, maybe photography or um, uh, other forms of expression um, that, that has to do with these issues, this would be um, uh, an interesting uh, project for you. Um, so uh, we are also in the process of, um, uh, uh, you know, I, I told you the, the, the project is a collaboration between uh, three centers. So this is, um, uh, so CPCH, and then this is one of the other centers, Emma, um, uh, which is uh, at uh, Paul Valéry University in Montpellier, France. Uh, and the third center is the uh, Maison Française Oxford, MFO Oxford, uh, which is at the University of Oxford. So we are in the process of uh, establishing um, some kind of, um, uh, kind of a, a, a separate collaboration with this particular, uh, with Emma, this particular research uh, center, uh, which um, we're hoping will allow for um, some exchange of students potentially. Uh, I can't say too much about this right now because this is still being planned, uh, but that might be uh, an opportunity that our students would have in the, in the future.
that's it from me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Padisha. Why? Okay, uh, good afternoon. I'm Yip Chuk Wai, uh, the director of the Research Center for the Chinese Literature and Literary Culture. Let me square my screen first. I will talk in uh, Mandarin. Uh, okay. Uh, go away. 各位同学,你们好,很欢迎你们来到我们的Information Session 那我们的Center就是中国文学文化研究中心 其实刚才好几位长者已经提到了在我们的系里面读研究生你们必须要跟我们就是其中我们的那个研究中心就是可以挂号 那就等于说你要一边就是在这个学习里面学习，另外一面呢，你就呃可以在这个具体的那个的研究中心里面，可以就呃呃吸收不同的经验。啊，那跟我们呃LCS，就是文学及文化学系比较呃接近的，就是我
呃，你们扮演的角色其实很重要的，因为一方面同学可以在这些 seminars 或是那些 talk series 里面可以发表。那呃，另外一方面呢，同学也可以作为中间的一个的工作的人员，你们可以有一种统筹学术活动的一些经验啊。那还有就是，因为我们办很多的学术活动啊，那些学术活动很多都跟其他的大学就是有呃交流的机会啊，所以同学在呃。在读我呃我们的博士生的时候，其实也有挺多跟其他大学、世界各地的学姐他们交流的机会啊。这个也是刚才呃 ，Professor Dennis Chen 啊提到，就是呃在香港读书的其中一个好处，你可以碰到不同的来自不同地方的的人的学者。啊，那呃，所以同学在呃读书的过程里面，就可以从不同的那些的平台、不同的一些活动里面，可以吸收不同的经验。啊，那这些就是呃在研究中心可能比较受益的呃那个方面。那以前呃在呃本系里面读书的哈、啊，关于中国文学研究的呃一些学生啊，他们做什么题目呢？啊，那呃，以下就是有两张 PPT 啊，可以给同学可以看一看啊。那我们有做古典的啊，那因为呃，可能同学不知道知不知道，其实呃，咱们教育大学的研究院啊，其实成立呃呃的历史其实不是很长啊，所以呃，我们的呃研究生的那种毕业生的呃数目其实不没没没有很多。啊，但是现在其实可以跟各位说哈，那呃，因为最近几年我们越来越多研究生，也呃毕业的研究生，他们发展其实也挺好。那同学也可以在我们的网页里面可以看到我们一些宣传的一些的 videos 啊，那上面有有我们一些 graduates 啊的一些 sharing 啊，那同学看的时候啦，其实就看到，其实我们挺多的毕业生现在也在大学里面工作。可能在就是香港，也可能在呃中国内地啊。那所以呃，这个就是我们的一些毕业生的一些发展。那呃，这张 PPT 看到就是从事古典文学研究的同学他们的题目，然后呃往下一张呢，就是呃一些呃现当代文学跟香港文学的呃题目啊。那同学可以看一看啊，因为同学呃在想呃要报读。呃，学位的时候呢，肯定要想，呃，要做什么题目，因为你们要提交一个 proposal， 那 proposal 必须很具体的跟我们讲啊，你希望做的题目是什么啊？那所以同学呃，要可以留意一下。当然，如果呃，同学希望做是流行文化的，或者是刚才 British Center 里面所所做的一些题目的话，这些也是很欢迎。啊，所以同学可以呃利用时间，可以多想想自己喜欢做的题目是什么啊。然后呃，下面有一些的呃照片呢，看到哈，那在研究中心里面，我们的气氛是很很温暖的。啊、那那我们都有一些 gathering 哈、啊，那希望可以老师跟研究生，还有研究助理，还有我们的那些呃博士后。可以多交流了，不同层面的交流的机会，这个也可以就是给各各位一些概念哈、啊，在我们教到读书的情况大概是怎么样？啊，那呃，我的介绍大概就到这里吧。那下面就是一些 discussion session 啊，哎 ，Jeff， thank you。Uh, thanks, Zhuai, uh, and our colleagues for your introduction to our department and centers and our our activities. Um, before we open the floor for discussion, uh, I'd just like to remind um, you know, uh, those of you who are interested in studying with us that now is the time to be in touch uh, with prospective supervisors. I think colleagues in the department are more than happy to discuss your application with you, to look at your research proposal, uh, to refine your research questions. Uh, even before you make an application, so as as it says here, uh, please please get in touch with an LCS member who might be a prospective supervisor, 
um, and then work with that person to refine your application and research proposal. So you don't have to wait until you're accepted to, to contact us. We're, we're ready to hear from you now. Um, please note the application deadline is coming up a month from today. Uh, so now is the time to write that email, uh, whether it's to me as the head of department, to one of my colleagues because of their area of specialization. Uh, we do look forward to hearing from you. Uh, so having said that, um, do you have any questions right now uh, about the process of studying uh, with us or about research in the humanities generally? Uh, what would you like to talk about? If you, could, if you would like to ask in English, that's fine. If you'd like to ask in Poutonhoi, uh, that's also fine. Um, and you can use the chat window uh, as well to type. Uh, so however you are most comfortable, please. Okay, well, uh, if, there, if there aren't any further questions uh, at this moment, we will close for today. I really appreciate your coming to talk to us and I hope to hear from uh, some or all of you. Um, and I would just encourage you to be in touch uh, and in contact uh, as soon as possible so we can work together on your application. Um, I think that you'll find that colleagues in the department are looking forward to hearing uh, from postgraduate students. So uh, thank you uh, uh, visitors and thank you colleagues. Um, if you have any other questions about anything, don't hesitate to be in touch with me uh, directly. I'm easy to find uh, via the uh, department's website. So uh, thank you very much uh, and we'll be done for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.